Good morning, folks. <clears throat> Nate here with Murray Farm and Ranch. Nice Saturday morning. It's going to be a hot one today. I think our uh, projected temp is 104. So I'm getting up early, try to get some things done. But first off, I need to go do a, go a grocery haul, fix up a fancy breakfast. You come along with me for that. Grocery haul is probably not what you think. It's the Murray Farm and Ranch Way grocery haul. So that means we're going to the garden to get all the things that we need for a wonderful breakfast. Hey ladies, you ready to go get out of here and go do some running, some foraging? First stop on the list is the uh, dairy and egg section. Oh yeah, just what we were needing. Three of them. All right, that's gonna make something beautiful. I think eggs are such a wonderful source of protein and healthy fats. And so I, I eat eggs almost every day if not every day, every other day for sure. And one of my favorite things is a loaded veggie omelet. And no better place to get my veggies than right out here. So, <clears throat> let's find some things. Let's go foraging for some food through the garden. So, one of the things I might want would be some tomatoes. So let's go see what kind of tomatoes we have ready to go. All right, now let's dig in here and look for a couple of nice red. Oh yeah, that right there is called a Juliet. There's another. And another. So the Juliets, they are a little larger, pretty meaty tomato. They don't have a whole lot of seeds. There's not a lot of like liquid inside of them. I love these for cooking with because you have, they don't reduce down a lot. They have a lot of, there's actually a lot of meaty tomato here. They're one of my favorites as well. So this is called the Juliet. Oh, if you're gonna have some delicious, some uh, delicious egg scramble or omelet, you probably need a good selection of peppers. We got a couple of good ones on here. Some bells. Hmm. I don't know if I want any bells today. What else we got? Ooh, some jalapenos. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I love jalapenos and eggs. I love jalapenos and everything. Uh, th these, this is a variety called the tricked you variety, and they're not quite as hot. They, uh, you can use these cooking, they, you can stuff these with cheese and so forth, and they, uh, you can make little potato or uh, jalapeno bombs, and they're not quite as, uh, not quite as rough on tender mouths. Yeah, nice. Uh-oh, we got us a little, we got us a man down here. Everything looks okay with it, so I'm going to go ahead and eat it. <clears throat> Ooh, let's see what we got here. This is a poblano. I think, uh, I think a little mix of Kitty, you're gonna knock my plant down. Quit. Quit. You're gonna knock my plant down. Quit. Quit. All right, so we got tomatoes, some 
jalapenos, a poblano, a bell. I'm thinking that uh, maybe we should get into some onion. So I'm gonna go over here to aisle, aisle one. What do we got here? Whoop, whoop. We got some magnums going on. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I'm telling you that right there. That is an onion. That's delicious looking. Uh, we've had excellent luck with our onions this year. They're, they're just, they're all giants. I mean, that right there. Look at that. Look at that onion. Man. Let's see. There's an idea. Get us a couple of little greens to put in our our eggs. Probably don't need a lot of these, but we'll pull us off a couple of leaves. <clears throat> I love greens. Such uh, excellent sources of nutrition. They add a lot. They add a lot to our. A meal, so I think we'll go ahead and get some of these. This is starting to look like a pretty nice breakfast. And just to make this uh, just for some extra flair, I think we might even get some of these these uh, chives this morning. They're looking really good. I think I'll clip off a couple of these chives. I think they'll find their way in. I need a lot, just a little, just a few, few strings. That ought to work. That's got the makings of a pretty good breakfast right there. Hmm. Man. Well, guys, that was our grocery haul. Probably a little different than what you were expecting. Maybe not. Who knows? I'm gonna go ahead and get some of our vegetables uh, washed up, and then I'm gonna get them chopped up the way I want them. I'll meet you back at the stove to get this thing cooking. All right, we've got our eggs broke apart. All right, so we've got our veggies cut up, washed. I've got some high heat oil over here heating up. This is uh, avocado oil in a cast iron skillet. We've got our eggs broken apart and beaten. Let's get this thing going. I like to cook the vegetables for two or three minutes to let them get to a uh, get to the point where the onions are starting to get translucent a little softer. <clears throat> All right, these are just about done. They've been cooking for three or four minutes, so I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them over here to the side, and uh, then I'm going to get my eggs going. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the heat. Um, down to like pretty low for when I'm cooking the eggs. I don't want the eggs to burn on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more avocado oil to the pan as well. I wanna make sure that these egg, this, these, uh, this omelet doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna kinda move that uh, olive oil around. And then we will add our eggs. And the eggs, they really don't take very long. A minute, two minutes, we'll make a flip. We'll fill it with our uh, all of our goodies. All right, so I went ahead and flipped the uh, the egg the eggs over. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat off on the eggs because the hot, the pan is gonna hold enough heat to finish off the cooking, and I'm gonna fill this. I'm gonna fill the uh, interior of this omelet with all of our goodies.
Got a little uh, cheddar cheese, extra sharp. Ready to take this guy from the pan to the plate to the belly. Now, whew, that looks good. Looks real good. I know what you're thinking though, Nate. You said this was gonna be fancy. Okay, okay, okay. Let me fancy it up for you. Little dab of sour cream. Top it off with our chives. Now that's fancy. Mm -hmm. 